nation, it surrounds us. Every nation, all around us. Singing forever young, singing songs underneath the sun. Let's rejoice in the beautiful day, and together at the end of the day, we all say, when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag.
fire Give me reason, take me higher See the champion, take the field now Unify us, make us feel proud In the streets our heads are lifting As we lose our inhibition Celebration, it surrounds us Every nation, all around us Singing forever young Singing songs underneath the sun Yo, fe- 
It surrounds us Every nation All around us Singing forever young Singing songs underneath the sun Let's rejoice in the beautiful game And together at the end of the day We all say When I get older I will be stronger They'll call me freedom Just like a waving flag Like a waving flag, so wave your flag. 
fire Give me reason, take me higher See the champion, take the field now Unify us, make us feel proud In the streets our heads are lifting As we lose our inhibition Celebration, it surrounds us Every nation, all around us Singing forever Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Bienvenidos. Bonjour. Um, just wanted to say thank you to everybody who is here this evening. This is our very first uh, multicultural event that we get to have for the parents and for the communities. Thank you so much for all of you for supporting your children and being here many days a week, Saturdays and Sundays and to wee hours of the night. I um, hope you get to see all the hard work that they have put in. Thank you to our Westbury High School administration, to NASA Community College, um, 21st Century Community Learning Center grants, and to all of the students, all of you, and all of the staff that have made this evening possible. So without further ado, our two MCs for the evening are Tareem Khan and Jarabi Edmund. Hi everyone, welcome to Westbury's first ever multicultural um, assembly where we'll be showing you all of the different cultures in our school and throughout the world. Um, oh yeah. So up first tonight, you guys, the Aztec dance. So without further ado, let's make some noise for the Aztec dance. Thank you. 
right, that was the Aztec dance. Make some noise if you enjoyed the Aztec dance. Our next performance is the European Contigadores. So let's give it up for our new dancers and make some noise for them, please. Started from a weird spot, but you know, need some suspense. Um, our next act is Ancestors Forever. It's an indigenous African people that used to dance to create a sense of community and preserve a rich history and culture. Samba and tap dance, line dance and hip hop, capoeira and twerking, these are all different styles that have their origins in the African diaspora. We use music and dance as a form of expression. Africa is the point of origin into which Afro-American, Afro-Caribbean, and Latin music remains connected to the past. Cultivating pride, sharing our culture, and honoring our truths takes form in American, African dance and music. Please give it up for our ancestors forever.
back. So. Are you guys enjoying the performances so far? I can't hear you. Is that all you guys have? Are you guys enjoying the performances? All right, so up next is the Tinka League Dance. The Tinka League Dance originated in Lady, is regarded as the national dance of the Philippines. This dance includes two to four bamboo poles, as well as dancers. The dance is said to have originated from these birds known as the Tinka League birds. Without further ado, make some noise for the Tinka League dancers. traditional dance I do not believe it. did you guys enjoy that traditional dance all right up next we have Juliana Malta singing I have nothing now this singer she's an incredible singer she will be up next um she 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 has a gift and I would say she will touch you guys hearts so please make some noise 
for Juliana Mata singing I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston.
Well, I'm back now. Sorry, we had a few technical difficulties. I almost forgot I had a performance to do. But anyway, let's give it up one more time for Juliana. She has a beautiful voice and a beautiful voice she got from the gift of God. Um, our next performance is the expression of India. So let's give a round of applause for our dancers. is Esperanza de Abuela. Um, it was written by Miss Eddie Correa, but we have someone else saying it for us today. Um, she is a student in our school, and since sh our alumni couldn't be here today to say it for her, we have Marianes Moquette saying it for us today, so let's have a big round of applause for her. Good 
evening, parents, and this is the poem, Esperanza de Abuela, written by Miss Correa. Westbury is la esperanza, the hope my parents were searching for when crossing la frontera. Inmigrantes from el corazón de Centroamérica, representando Honduras, el país en estrellas. Leaving their family behind, the gringo and catrocho culture intertwined. Mis padres traded baleadas for pizza, lemperas for US dollars, for me to graduate Westbury High School and become a scholar. I visited Honduras for the first time when I was 12. Abuela would tell me, my primos and I, no se olviden de estudiar cipotes. Those were the words of wisdom from my illiterate abuela as she was making tortillas de maseca. I miss her warm hugs, the way her soul glistened her native brown beard. I miss hearing her morning motivational stories as we both ate pan con café. I was her first granddaughter, her first nieta, who grew up on Prospect Avenue and became a maestra. A maestra who inspired by other maestros, Miss Polo, Mr. Vesa, and Miss Dikiera, Miss Salazar. They all told me to reach for the stars and mis sueños se realizarán. Dreams that did become a reality because of my parents' American dream. Dreams that were realized in Westbury, La Esperanza, the hope my parents and I achieved. Thank you. Next, we had the Tribal Fusion Dance, but not, not, not just yet. Right now, we're gonna take a little moment to uh, uh, recognize all the stuff that we have. Uh, we wanna know what your favorite part is so far, so if you guys had a chance to go around to the food trucks, let me hear you make some noise. Was the food good? Was, was it really good? No. The oxtail? Someone wanna buy me some? All right, so um, yeah, right now, up next, we have the Tribal Fusion Dance, so let's make some noise for the Tribal Fusion.
Nah, we kind of gotta admit that dance was sexy. Um. Anyway, so my partner here, Jarabi, wearing beautiful clothes, bright blue like a highlighter, no problem. Turn around, do a spin for me. Do a spin for me. Hey. I know he looking nice, cause he wearing my culture clothes. Got me up for me, exactly. So this highlighter color he's wearing is called Okorta, and with embroidery, traditional embroidery. This scarf looking thing, which he hasn't worn properly because he's uncultured, is called a dubatta. And his beautiful cream pants are called a shalwar. And his musty, crusty, and dusty dress shoes. He could not think of cleaning them. Oh no, nah, thrifted? Even worse. <laughs> Even worse. Now, I looking better than you, and my Crocs, they be shining at least. I am wearing a traditional Pakistani um, maxi dress with traditional um, Pakistani embroidery at the bottom. I know I'm looking better than you, so you can't say anything. Your crusty, musty, and dusty looking self can go behind the stage and stop talking. Our next dance is the tango dance, which is an Argentinian tango originated in the streets of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Montevideo, Uruguay in the late 19th century. The roots of this dance are found in the African um, <laughs> Kindombi, um, the Cuban habanera, as well as in the waltz and polkas. It was a popular dance among European immigrants, former slaves, and the working and lower classes. Uh, give it up for the tango dancers. back I know everyone loves me I'm just like that unlike him stand away from me as far as possible thank you um, <laughs> our next performance is it's actually a song um, it is sung by Kelly Sufram Ashley Joseph and we have a guitarist his name is Jordan Chester and they will be singing IETC which is a song that speaks of Haiti's beautiful beaches valleys rivers and waterfalls it is a tribute to Haiti's countryside and traditions IET means flower of the highland so let's give it up to our singers and guitarists
Haïti, si belle en mer, si belle montagne, belle rivière, si belle plage à picocoyer, bel paysage à belle couleur. Haïti, si son café, qu'a monté dans les le matin, si son la où j'ai fait poser, pour fleur dire qu'a bougeonné. Haïti, si la vallée, si port sali à Xabrico, si mon la sel pic Macaya, si mamlan à mon bilbo. Haïti, si la vallée, si port sali à Xabrico, si port sali à Xabrico. Si mamla n'a mon bigo. Haïti, son bon griot, son bon fritaille en bon tasso, son bon légume avec sirica, son bon diri avec la loup. Haïti, son bon dombre, qui a mariné dans bon sauce bois, son bois cochon en bon clérin. Haïti, son bon café du soir. Haïti, chéri, pour jamais remède. Moi, je viens de déposer du cœur, moi, non, mais. Haïti, chérie, pour jamais adorer. Pas gagner un cap, j'en fais, moi, quitter. Haïti, chérie, pour jamais remer. Moi, je viens de déposer du cœur, moi, non, mais. Haïti, chérie, pour jamais adorer. Pas gagner un cap, j'en fais. Haïti, si t'es au goût, si t'es en cette quitte pour nous, si la l'esclave a chaboli, si t'es liberté à Godou. Haïti, si on combine pays en cas avec le latin, si tu marches en yoga descend, pour y aller mais à clavicher. Haïti, si ti moun yo ka prelevé yon lot abni, si de l'eau rigole la kap desan, pa kon kote le pral la teni. Haïti, chéri, pou jom mwè remè, mwè vin depose ti ke mwè nan mè. Haïti, chéri, pou jom mwè dore, pa gen ya e kap jom fè mwè kite. Haïti, chéri, pour jamais remer. Moi, je viens de déposer du cœur, moi, non, mais. Haïti, chéri, pour jamais adorer. Pas gagner un cap, j'en fais, moi, quitter. Haïti, c'est yon maman qui compte sa yore les douleurs. Yon femme qui jambe, yon femme vaillant. Même s'il connaît, il n'y a pas parfait. Haïti, si yon bel fond, même s'il passe en pile misère, li toujou fond j'en range gain, pou tout petit li doujou fier. Haïti, si tout bagay, sa yo ki fè non tout remèr, et même si wout la log en pile, na toujou la pou chéri. Haïti, chéri, pou j'en mwè remèr, mwè vin depose ti ke mwè nan mèr, Haïti, chéri, pour j'aime adorer. Pas gagner un cap, j'en fais, moi, quitter. Haïti, chéri, pour j'aime remer. Moi, je viens de déposer du cœur, moi, non, mais. Haïti, chéri, pour j'aime adorer. Pas gagner un cap, j'en fais, moi, quitter. Qui te misit sa dolote Pap jam qui te Enjoy that performance. Are there? Are there? Hold on. Before, before we continue, are there any Haitians in the crowd? My Haitians, make some noise. So I have a question for you. Do you know, like, we have these little like booths behind the henna? Because I see we have a henna, henna booth out there. Can you sort behind it? Yes, I do. So the henna, which there's henna stations outside, by the way. 
and they're free. So if you want any, you can go get some. So henna, or in my language, which is Urdu, it's called mehendi. And it is um, a paste made from herbs and flowers that we use to create designs on our hands and sometimes our feet, depending on, on the occasion. Um, it's something we use occasionally um, in the Middle East um, and South Asia. So different countries like Lebanon, Palestine, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India. We all use henna for special occasions and the henna represents um, our culture in a way that no other culture has because not everyone wears henna. And I find it very beautiful at times, but sometimes it can get messy. So if you have henna on right now, uh, a little advice, don't smudge it and don't get it on any clothes. It will stain, like forever. It won't go away. What do you say is the best part of your culture? The food. It's, it's amazing. I gotta try this out. You've definitely had butter chicken. I've never had butter chicken. You're lying. I never had Haitian food. What about that? Okay. Can you guys believe her? You never, you never what? I never had Haitian food. You never had Haitian food? No. In a school full of Haitians? I just got here. I just got here. And no one has introduced you to Haitian food. Would you like to? With a community of Haitians. I just got here, my guy. I am from the north. I am from Canada. I am not from here. Full of Haitians up north. There are no Haitians up north. There are fully white people up north. I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. Just, just read the next act. Just, exactly. Just, 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 you are uncultured. Just read the next act. Anyway, enough of his foolishness. Our next dance is the Cleopatra dance, which is the belly dance, um, which is from Egypt, a country located in Northeast Africa. Um, in this country, the dance has a long-standing tradition. In ancient Egypt, women performed ritual dances to worship Isis, the goddess of fertility and motherhood. Ancient Egyptian temples often show women dancing to appeal to the gods and pray. It was an important rite of passage into womanhood and a powerful expression of divine femininity. Let's give it up for our dancers. <laughs> Never mind. They're taking too long to get pretty for all y'all, but it's okay. Um, and my partner is being shy now after violating me for not eating Haitian food. But, so I heard we had Haitians here, but how many Hispanics do we have here? Do we have any Asians here? Okay, well now they're ready, so enjoy the Cleopatra dance.
sorry for the wait. Um, so we have our closing dance for Act One. So all these dances and songs are from Act One. Um, it is an Asian Arab American um, closing dance, which has all of our dancers and performers. Um, they have worked very hard to be here with us. We actually had um, another assembly last week on Thursday, which represented Asian, Arabs, and Pacific Islanders. Um, so everyone has been working very hard. Um, people are in multiple dances and songs. Everyone tried their best, and we did have some technical difficulties today, which I'm very sorry about. Um, but I hope ev you guys enjoy everything, the food trucks, the henna stations, the face painting. Um, there's also um, some food outside, I hope, still left. But if not, I'm very happy all y'all came, because there's not many of us, but I'm happy you guys came to support. Um, I don't have much to say any after that, but I'm grateful that you guys came. And they are ready now, so let's welcome our closing dance for Asia and Ameri Eric Americans. You turn over the hourglass, the sand is falling down, oh it's too fast For you, for you Don't waste your love, just let it last Cause once it's gone, it's never coming back It's true, could you love me the same? Tell me what makes you stay Shawty bad, she my divani mistani Light it up from Hollywood to Mojali Tasha and Derulo, it's a worldwide party I know that you wanna get crazy, crazy Shawty, take it slow, then chitty, chitty Come on, baby, be my jelly, baby You know what I'ma say Hey, baby, let me see it I just wanna eat it Baby, let me see it Oh, I really need it Oh, baby, let me see it Again. Uh, well, that was the end of Act One. We have a 15 minute intermission, so if you guys would like to walk around, stretch your legs a little bit, you guys can and get some food if there's any left. And thank you for coming and join us back for Act Two. Thank you for coming.
Hi guys, sorry for the wait. We have two minutes until we start, so if you can kind of just be patient and we'll be right with you guys. Thank you.
guys welcome to act two um before anything starts i would like to deeply apologize for my jokes um i didn't mean anything um at least not anything hurtful i just wanted to have some fun but i really truly am very sorry i hope you guys can forgive me um Jirabi is one of my very good friends and i didn't really mean anything so i'm very sorry um, but our first performance for Act Two is a Jerusalem mix. So let's give it up for our dancers. Baby, my Valentine Get a little bit, make you a 
but I'm gonna try the best If you leave me a good time, I swear You are like the oxygen I need to survive I'll be honest Long day, they thought of me I am so obsessed I want to chop your own mouth I need it, my God, it's you But now I'm there, guys, you're alone I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone performance had all of the people who are participating um, in our um, assembly, but except for AV. So let's have another round of applause for them. Sorry? Maybe after the act is over. Maybe. And then you can dance with us at the end. So our next performance is Peace for Ghana, is composed by Sarah Waters, and it is adapted by the Westbury High School Percussion Ensemble. Um, let's give it up for our drummers. Thank you. 
Let's make some noise for our Westbury High School Ensemble. Um, our next performance is a haiku by Ariana Flores Rojas. Um, a haiku is a concise and contemplative form of Japanese poetry that captures a single moment of essence of nature. Composed of three lines with five, seven, five syllable patterns, each haiku distills a vivid image or emotion in a few words. It invites readers to pause, reflect, and connect with the natural world. Whether evoking and delicate cherry blossoms in bloom, the serenity of a Zen garden, or the whispering winds in the mountains, haikus inscalculates the beauty and transitions of life. It serves as a poetic, sympathetic, and snapshot inviting as appreciative the simplicity and profoundness of the present moment. Let's give it up for Ariana Flores Rojas. The tree of the day, jade fruit hangs, fire and blood of the night. The light of a candle is transferred to another candle, spring twilight. The snow of yesterday that fell like cherry blossoms is water once again. Thank you. Can we have a round of applause for Ariana Flores Rojas? Um, the next performance is actually very interesting. Sorry? Um, our next performance is very interesting because it represents my culture, the West Pakistanis, and it represents my traditions as well. Um, it is about the Shidi and are a community of African Pakistanis who descended from Southeast Africa and ended up in the Sindhi re region of Pakistan. Sindhi and Shidi are primarily descended from the Bantu peoples of the Zanj coast of Southeast Africa and Ethiopia, most whom arrived to the Indian subcontinent through the Arab slave trade. The following dance is inspired by Thespinians. Let's give it up for our West Pakistani dancers.
let's give it up for our West Pakistani dancers. Our next act is a song that is sung by my dear friend, Jeannie Anse. And the song is called Magbahal, or actually, sorry, my bad. It's called Mab Agal. And Magbahal is a song by Daniel Padilla and Mora Del Torre. This is a popular love song with a catchy chorus, though many people don't understand. This song is said to be very still and enjoyable and great to listen to. So let's give it up for my friend Jeannie Anse. everyone I'm back for those of you joining us again welcome back and for those new I'm Jarabi you're one of your MCs and this is one of my MCs Sareem uh, the next act will be the Matador dance with the arrival of the Spanish came the cultural dances including the Paso Doble 
This dance originated in France and was later on adapted and modified in Spain. So without further ado, welcome the El Matador dance. Let's have another round of applause for our dancers. You kind of got to admit, that was kind of impressive. 
So our next performance is a song again that is sung by Sage. Um, she is singing Amor Prohibido. It is from Selena, and Selena Quintanilla Perez, known simply as Selena, was an American Tejano singer, dubbed the queen of Tejano music. Her contributions to music and fashion made her one of the most celebrated Mexican-American artists of the late 20th century. So let's give it up to Sage and her amazing voice. for Sage. I think she was pretty good, right? All right. Uh, raise your hand if you're from, hmm. raise your hand from, if you're from Haiti. I see you guys. Raise your hand if you're from Honduras. Raise your hand if you're from Mexico. All right. Um, how do you think overall the performance has been? Yeah. All right, all right. For those who are in Act One, make some noise. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, I have a question for you guys. Are you ready? Wait, are you ready? Which act is going better so far? Dances wise. Act one. Oh, no one. No one. No one. I personally. Act two. I think some people are just talking. Act one. 
See, you see? Act two. See, so act one, act one. No, 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 act one, one. Act one, one. Our next performance is the hula dance. A uh, hula dance is a traditional Hawaiian dance from form that embodies the spirit, culture, and history of Hawaii. In ancient Hawaii, men were the first to dance hula, and the best dancers were even chosen to become warriors. Today, Kekai Okahai, one of the Hawaii's most famous male hula schools, is carrying on this tradition by telling warrior stories with the hula dance. Let's give it up for our hula dancers. Na maoe au te loto le lei matemana mai kilato. Na ako mai e ona me le lei ve ko te moana. Mate hakama lohi ve ko te moana. Ma le lei nga moni e mai te loto. Oh. 
let's give it up one more time for our hula dancers. Just to let you know, we are halfway through act two, and our next performance is If I Was Your Man, and it is a song that is sung by my friend, Camila. Never mind, we are skipping that. My, my apologies. Um, our next performance is Le Carabel, which is a dance. And on January 1st, 1804, Haiti was the first black republic to gain independence from France's control with the help of General Jean Jacques Desalignes. The Haitian flag was created on May 18, 1803, sold by Caffeine Flan. After gaining independence, Haitians would hold a celebration over several weeks leading up to Mardi Gras, known as Carnaval. This next dance consists of a variety of traditional Haitian dances, such as Carnaval, Robode, which consists of drums and is arranged with electronic music and compa, which is usually danced to at Haitian parties with a partner. The last song, the Gole, is a tribute to Haiti that is going through many struggles at the moment. Haitians, let's make some noise. Um, this dance is for you, for all my Haitians, so let's make some noise for our dancers.
Kaki dadau But I think they deserve a louder round of applause. Our next performance is an era of the diaspora, which is a Lebanese dance. A Lebanese dance that is very popular is called dake. It consists of circle dancing and line dancing. It is mainly performed at weddings and other joyful occasions. Also, the word dabke means to kick with the feet or to make noise. In today's Lebanese culture, dabke is still danced. Dabke has passed many down from generation to generation and is performed in almost every Lebanese home. The following dance is inspired by the world famous Lebanese dance group, the Mayas. The Mayas are an all female dance group that were the winners of 2019's Arabs Got Talent and 2022's America's Got Talent. This dance will be performed to show our appreciation to the country of Lebanon and to the multi-talented dance group, the Mayas. The original choreographer of this dance is Nadim Sherfan. All right, all right. So while they get ready, I, I need to ask again, since it was the Haitian dance. How'd you like that last dance? Those are my people right there. Those are my people. The land of Haiti is very beautiful. We have many, many resorts, many beaches. I personally think of visiting all of them. All of them. Yeah, but we have many beautiful beaches and resorts. We have very, very good food. Um, some, some, some food I find. But still, we still enjoy it. So without further ado, we'd like to introduce the, I, the Arab diaspora.
thank you guys. We want to thank everyone in the community for, your, for coming out tonight. We know you had things to do, but you took time out for Westbury, and that shows a love and appreciation. So we want to appreciate you guys back. Thank you very much, and I would like to give you guys a round of applause, and I hope you guys can give yourself a round of applause too. So I want to thank you guys for that. We want to thank everyone behind the stage, behind the scenes, for making everything possible, making all the wardrobe changes possible. We want to thank Ms. Rojas and Mr. Gonzalez for putting in effortless, effortless work and continuous energy throughout the whole entire program. So we want to thank that. Let's show some noise for them. And lastly, we would like to thank, well, again, you guys for being very incredible and being amazing. So once again, let's hear it for you guys. Make some noise. Come on, you guys can do better than that. Make some noise. Our last performance is the closing dance, which was, was a popular song, Hips Don't Lie by Shakira. And this dance has everyone who has performed with us today. So let's give a round of applause to them and thank you for coming.
Thank you, get home safe!